from Five Star Guitar Studios, and today's lesson of how to play guitar in five minutes a day is going to be over picking technique. So the first important thing about your picking technique is that you want to be holding it with your pointer finger and your thumb of your right hand, obviously, if you're right-handed. And you're going to want to be choked up on the pick, as I like to say, and so you only want the top just skating across your strings, that way it doesn't get stuck and drag along. This will really help you whenever you're picking faster to be able to skip strings and stuff like that. Alright, so this next segment is pick placement. And I know I talked about this a little bit in our last lesson with, that kind of has to do with your posture because if you're having good posture, you're sitting up straight, you're going to want your arm to be making about a 45 degree angle across the body of the guitar. You're going to want your right hand right along the bridge right there because you want to mute the strings slightly so all of the extra tones doesn't ring out because here's what it'll sound like if you're not muting it but if you are muting it i think it sounds a lot better there's a lot less of that extra noise ringing out and you really don't want that whenever you're playing Alright, so this next thing I'm going to show you guys is alternate picking, and this is a really big deal if you ever want to play fast, because it, you know, if you think about it, if you originally are just doing downstrokes and then you add upstrokes, you're going twice as fast already, in theory. So anyways, the general concept is, like I just said, it's downstrokes and upstrokes instead of just downstrokes, and so it kind of looks like this slowly. <laughs> So the last big thing I'm going to mention about your technique before we get into a few exercises are that you want to be sure to make it all a wrist movement. You don't want it to be your elbow, your arm, or anything like that. You just want it to be all in the wrist. And that's really going to take some discipline. And You know, if you practice it five minutes a day, you build it up, you start slowly, because you're not going to be Eddie Van Halen the second you start playing. And so if you really build it up and you make sure to focus on your alternate picking, and your wrist movements, and everything else that I've showed you, I know you guys will really improve your speed over time. Alright, so now that we've looked at your three basic components to picking technique, I'm going to show you guys an exercise that really ties these three together. Now this is one that I kind of came up with myself, and it uses chromatics to really help your left hand speed get up, as well as your picking technique and your picking speed with your right hand. Let me play it for you guys and then I'll show it to you. Alright, and this side, you know, this is one of those things that you practice for your five minutes a day. And this really helps you build up. And you start off slowly and it gets faster and faster. And the way I play this is that... I'm just playing it in A, so my pointer finger is on the 5th fret of the E string, my middle finger is on the 6th fret, my ring finger goes to the 7th, and my pinky goes to the 8th. And anyways, you start off with your pointer, then you put your middle down, then your ring finger, then your pinky, and then you just run it right back up, pinky, middle, ring, excuse me, then middle, then pointer, like that, and you just build it up, and be sure to use your alternate picking, be sure to make it the wrist movement, just chop, 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 up, down, so that kind of flows with your alternate picking, that's how you control it, and that's how you direct it, also be sure you're gripping your pick right, and just trying to skate across the strings, so anyways, let's play that together slowly.
So there you have it. That's our segment on picking technique. Now be sure to practice that and also follow on Twitter and like on Facebook for any lesson updates. You can always tweet me or email suggestions too. Thanks.